Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Business and Beyond and my name is Jennifer. I love all things business and money. So here we'll be talking about different tips, tricks and resources that you can use that will ultimately help you do business better. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you like and subscribe, share with a friend, feel free to put down a comment. I would love to hear from you. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get better at time management. This is definitely something that a lot of us struggle with when it comes to um, entrepreneurship and running a business. There is just so many things that have to get done and it can be very overwhelming at times because you just feel like you just don't have enough time to do different things. You don't know what needs to be done first. You don't know what order. There's just so many things that need to be done and it just always feels like there's just not enough hours in the day. So here are some things that I utilize that helps me like master time management for sure. So number one, you can utilize a project management system. So the project management system that I use is called Notion. Um, it's N-O-T-I-O-N, I'll put it down below in the comments. Um, it's called Notion and it really helps me to stay organized. Now there are a couple of different ones that you can use. There's uh, Asana, um, Trello is a really another popular one. Finding whichever one that best suits you will be key and just utilizing that one. Um, project management systems help you keep track of like long-term projects, long-term goals, short-term goals, what needs to be completed this month, what needs to be completed this week, what I have to do today. And it allows you to kind of get everything out of your brain and get it into a system and help you to stay organized. A lot of times when it comes to things that we need to do, different projects, we spend more time sitting down trying to figure out what we should be doing than actually doing it, right? So by the time you sit down to get something done, a plan should already be in place for you to get that thing done. You don't wanna sit down, you know, to complete a project and you spend the first hour trying to figure out what exactly should I even be doing right now. You wanna make sure you have a system in place to kind of keep your ideas and your tasks organized so when it's time for you to execute on it, um, it's already kind of set up for you and ready to go. So again, the one that I use, it's called Notion. It keeps me super, super organized and I use it to plan um, basically everything throughout my business. I have my projects that I'm working on that I wanna be completed within a, a year, projects that I wanna do complete within like the next three to six months. I utilize um, different calendars to like plan out content. I write notes when I have like different thoughts and I wanna just kinda jot them down really quickly so I don't forget, I put them in there. So I just kinda use that project management system just to manage everything that's going on in my business. So project management systems are key in time management because you can set everything up. You can even set timers on it to remind you it keeps just your thoughts and what you're working on organized so you don't sit down to do something and now you've sat for an hour trying to figure out what it, is, what it is that you're actually supposed to be doing at that time. The second key to mastering time management is putting yourself on a schedule. And this is probably the most important one, um, putting yourself on a schedule. I schedule and plan out everything, everything. I'm talking about what I'm posting on social media for the week, for the month, um, where I'm posting it, what time I'm posting it. I'm talking about life in general. You know, what time am I waking up? What am I eating for that day, for the week? Um, I plan out what I'm wearing for the week. <laughs> like any errands I need to run for the week, I plan which days um, that I'm going to run said errands which days am I preparing my meals? Which days am I ironing all my clothes for the week? Like I literally plan out my entire life because it just helps you to stay on track. Waking up every morning and then trying to figure out what that day looks like, um, it's a little bit stressful for me. I like to plan everything in advance. So um, of course things will come up, that's life. You know, something will always come up that may throw your schedule off a little bit, but at least you have it in your mind, like what's gonna take place on that day. Trying to do everything 
just kind of spontaneously and on the fly is not going to work because just as I just said, things will come up and there's always going to be something that comes up. But if you have your day, your week, your month planned and you have things scheduled, it will keep you organized. It will also hold you accountable to doing certain things because if you don't have a plan to do a, a specific task, then it may never get done. But if you plan to do it on Tuesday, then you're going to get it done on Tuesday. If something comes up on Tuesday, then it's going to roll over. And you're going to get it done Wednesday. If you never have a day in your mind of when you want to get the task completed, it may never get done. So I like to plan out um, my life by the week. And sometimes I even do like during busy seasons, I'll do it for the month. And I even have plans for what I want to do like months in advance. Um, in the back of my mind, really inside of my project management system, like I said, in point number one, but I plan everything. And if, you know, someone calls with something kind of random and it's kind of disrupt my day too much, the answer is probably going to be no, <laughs> but I like to plan as much as possible because you really just get more things done when you already have it in your mind what is going to take place on that day and it saves time of trying to sit down and figure out the date you don't want to spend the first hour or two of your day every day like okay well what's going to happen today what am i going to go where am i going to go what am i going to eat what am i going to wear what am i going to do all these tasks are is something that can be planned in advance so when you wake up in the morning you already have your schedule for the day ready you can just get up and go the third thing that um, is really helpful with time management is time blocking and time blocking is basically when you set aside a specific amount of time um, to do a certain task and um, you actually do the task that you have assigned for that time. So for me, let's say Saturdays, I time block in the morning on Saturdays to actually record YouTube videos. On Saturdays, you know, between the hours of like 10 and 12, I do my recording. Um, and that is the time that I set aside to record videos for the most part. So um, during that time frame, that's what I do. And when I set the time to do it, it gets done. So if something comes up during that time or if someone calls, someone texts or anything like that, it is already established in my day, in my mind that this is what's happening on this day. So I block out this day and this time to do recording. I, I will block out another day and time to do editing. I will uh, block out a, another set of hours to do maybe social media posts. I'll block out another set of time to complete, you know, my chores like laundry and life things of that nature. Time blocking, um, it really is helpful for holding you accountable for keeping your schedule and to keep you on track to complete a specific task at a specific time. So decide which hours you want to complete each task and actually stick to it and get it done. The last key to getting um, really good at time management is removing distractions from um, your working area. So let's rewind, go back to time blocking. So if I'm scheduling um, a certain time to record videos, um, I removed my distractions from that area. So I do not have my phone nearby. My phone is on do not disturb. I don't have TV on or anything else on. Like I, I create the area that I need to be the most successful. So I know if the TV is on, I'm going to be distracted trying to record and watch TV. If my phone is sitting right here and it's on ring, every time I hear a notification, I'm going to want to look down and see um, who's calling or who's texting. So that's why I put the phone in a completely different room. Um, everything that's going to potentially distract me, I remove it. Same thing when I'm working on different projects, maybe I'm working on the computer. Um, the same thing. I'll put my phone on do not disturb and do not disturb is like my very best friend. I use it all the time. I even have certain hours set up for my phone to automatically go on do not disturb without me even having to um, turn it on. And then my friends know as well, like at a certain time, my phone automatically goes on do not disturb. So if you call after a certain time, I'm not going to, <laughs> you already know I'm not going to answer because it automatically goes on do not disturb. So don't be afraid of using do not disturb. I use it all the time. So when I'm working on projects on my computer, 
my TV is off, my phone is on do not disturb. Um, I don't have anything else around me that, that I know that can potentially distract me. And we all know what our distractions are. So, you know, I'm not saying that you, it has to be anything extreme, but if you know that you pick up your phone every two seconds to look at social media, if you're trying to get something done, you need to put your phone away. Like realizing what your distractions are and removing those from when you are trying to get things accomplished and also creating a space for you to be productive. For me, I love working in rooms that have um, open windows, natural light, and I like playing like a little bit of music in the background so it's not too, too quiet. I know what I need to be productive. So I make the space for myself to do that and get it done. So that way I can work through whatever I'm working through, no distractions, and I'm able to complete whatever I need to complete in that time frame. So removing those distractions um, and setting up your space in a way that can, that is conducive for you to be productive. It's gonna be key with time management. There's just so many things going on and so many different things to handle and tasks is that you have to set yourself up for success. Like don't even put yourself in a space where you know for sure that you're not gonna get anything done. So I hope that this was super helpful for you. If you have any questions about that, feel free to put them in the comments and I will see you guys on the next video.